Okay, so here we go. We have got um, an entropy change experiment. Um, so, what, which of, you don't need to do the calculation, which of the following represents the correct number of significant figures? So, uh, you know, it's, um, you're basically looking for something of three significant figures because your temperature and volume of water is all given to three significant figures. So it's got to be either B, C or D. Um, and hopefully you can see that B is the correct form because you've got your decimal point there, whereas in all the others you've got two numbers before the decimal point. So the answer is B. Okay, so this is one that may drive you a little bit mad. So the student's calculated entropy change was less exothermic than the value in data books. Which of the following errors could have contributed to this? So, error one, after the final temperature was recorded, the student removed the burner from the beaker and it carried on burning. So, if you think about it, that means that when we did the experiment, when we did all the results, we think we burnt more fuel than we actually have to get that temperature change. And remember, we divide by the number of moles of fuel burn. So, that number will be larger, which means the overall um, entropy change will be less exothermic. So, one is certainly uh, a problem. Error two, the student recorded the fan temperature five minutes after removing the burner. Um, okay, yes, because if you record, the temperature is going to drop. So that means that it could have been maybe um, gone up by 13 degrees. By the time you've measured it, it's dropped down to a lower value. So that means that you think less energy is going to the water. So certainly that one as well. The student spilled some water on the bench. Well, that means I've got less water than I think I have. So I think I've got 100 centimetres cubed, but maybe I've only got 90. So if I only heated 90 centimetres cubed of water, the temperature change will be higher because it's got to heat less water. But I still think I've got 100. So I still put 100 in my calculation. So... Um, that would make my temperature rise higher, which would make it seem more exothermic than it actually is. So the answer is error one and error two. So that is B. Um, a student prepares a standard solution and carries out titration. Standard solution placed in a burette. Which of the following would result in a titer that's larger than it should be? So water is added to completely fill the volumetric flask. Um, rather than just to the graduation line. So that means that I think my standard solution is maybe one mole per decimeter cubed, let's say. But actually, it's not going to be, because if I filled it all the way up to the top, it's more dilute. So maybe it's only 0.9 moles per decimeter cube. So I'm going to have to add more than I should. So that would certainly mean I've got to have a larger, tighter. The conical flask is washed out of water before carrying out any tradition. Doesn't affect it at all. Um, what's in the conical flask is only water. Doesn't matter. The pipette is washed out with water before carrying out its titration. So the pipette is used for the other solution. So if that's more dilute, that's going to make, if I put water in my pipette, it means that that's more dilute than it should be, which means my titer would be less than expected. So the answer, remember I'm looking for an error which makes it larger, the only one is number one, so the answer is D.